And hello guys and welcome back to Alan Wake. In the last part we finished episode one. So I guess we're going to Previously on Alan Wake. I came to Bright Falls with my wife, Alice. Thank you for coming here with me. I thought maybe you could write here. I don't want to hear it! God damn it, Alice! Now she's missing. Alice? Ah! Alice! Behind the wheel of a crashed car, I'm missing a week. I was attacked by shadowy men straight from a nightmare. The sheriff took me to the lake Alice and I had stayed at, but the cabin had disappeared. My guess is that he's somehow missing uh, more than just that one week, several years. That's why the cabin disappeared. I'm home. I got that uh, uh, that interruption. I had some important uh, Sweetie, live stream how was stuff it? to worst weather I've to. ever seen. You should put some coffee on. It'll warm you up. Switch on the coffee maker. What could ever go wrong? Coffee's on. Great, thanks. I'll need it if I'm gonna finish this by tomorrow. What is she going to finish? working on that she has to finish. Oh, hey, Junior? I just finished yes. those cover mock-ups. They're on your desk. Tell oh. me what you think. No kidding. I didn't think you'd get them done this quickly. On occasion, I can perform all sorts of miracles, my dear. Oh, really? Well, you seemed to think so last night. Ooh. <laughs> so I assume she's an artist. Uh, she probably makes my covers. My book covers. Okay, that's, that's what I meant. These look okay. really good. Covers. Oh, sure, until Barry gets his hands on them. Which, by the way, will happen over my dead body. The last time was the last time. Oh, and speaking of Barry, he called. <gasps> Alan! Alan, please check the fuse box. I'm right here. I'm on it, honey. Please hurry. Boss. Honey, it's a power outage. I I've got the flashlight. Okay. Hi. You okay? I'm sorry. I just... It just really spooked me. Don't worry. We'll just break out the candles. I know it's stupid, but it's just... Especially when I'm not prepared for it, you know? It gets to me. I love you. Tell me a story, writer. Okay. <clears throat> I used to have these nightmares when I was a kid. The dark really spooked me, too. When it got really bad, my mom gave me this old light switch. She called it the clicker. The clicker, huh? Yeah. If I ever got scared of the dark, I could just flip the switch and a magic light would scare the monsters away. Oh, sure. Here it is. Alan. Maybe it'll help <laughs> you, too. Yeah, nice story, writer boy. You made that up right now, didn't you? No, no. <laughs> Seriously. I love you. Even if you are a liar. Thanks for this. Any nausea, disorientation, anything like that? Mr. Wake, how are you feeling? I'm okay. My head's fine. I had to lie about my headache and memory loss. He'd send me to a hospital for tests. I couldn't leave without Alice. Mm, very well. Um, I don't think you have a concussion, but you've obviously been through quite a shock. You should take it easy for a couple of days. Thanks. Well then, Mr. Wake, we're done here. If the pain gets any worse or you experience any other symptoms, you should come see me. I'll let you get on with it then. Sarah, uh, Sheriff Breaker, is waiting for you. She's very good at her job. I'm sure she can locate your wife in no time. Doc Nelson. Oh. 
Colton was the image of a small town doctor. Sheriff Breaker had called him to the station to take a look at the cut in my head. What was that? Oh, something to examine. Anyway, I'm gonna read the oh the pages I pick up. It's true what they say about the fall and the sudden stop at the end. I'd lain here in the snow while the lurid chain of scenes that had led me here kept playing in my head. A rerun of my own private snuff movie. A memory of my corpse. Alone at my own wake. Thinking in metaphors again. The femme fatale was gone. Only a sour taste remained of the kiss that killed me. This was a late goodbye. Thirteen years after I'd gotten my revenge. It had finally caught up with me. It had been a long time to bear the pain. My blood painted the snow red. A gruesome slushy dissolved all the scattered painkillers and leisurely dripped down to the sewer mingling with the bile of the city, becoming one with it. I can see them now, my wife and my baby. Honey, I'm home. This, uh... It, this screen actually looks really cool. Look at all those words fading in the background. Anyways, let's continue with the game. What was there to examine over here? I believe you'll find the sheriff in her office. Uh, just go down the corridor. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm fish. sorry you had to cut your morning fishing short for this, Doc. <laughs> oh, she's a beauty, ain't she? Not the biggest I ever caught, if you can believe that, coming from an old fisherman like me. But she's right up there. Anything interesting over here? No? Okay. No thermos? Oh, fine. I'll believe you. <laughs> door system's kind of weird. I'm used to having to push E to open a door. Thank you for testing the lights, Miss Weaver. Everything seems to be fine. Oh. Huh, there's their fuse box. I hope I won't need to uh, do anything with that. Mr. Wake, the sheriff is waiting for you in her office down the corridor. Soon that's over here. Yep. Come in, Mr. Wake. Your phone's on the desk. The battery was dead. It's charged now. Okay. Have you started looking for my wife yet? My men are already on it. Now, can you tell me what happened? I'm not sure. I can't remember. We were arguing. I walked out of the cabin. The cabin on Cauldron Lake? How did you end up at Stucky's gas station? I wanted to tell her what had happened last night, but I couldn't. She'd lock me up. Excuse me. I need to take this. What's this? Hello? Alan, please help me. Alice? Alice? Stop talking to the law. You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife again. Who is this? Go to the back lot. There's a hole in the fence on the left. Look inside the junker. I left a little something there to convince you we're all on the same page here. After you ditch the cops, you're going to meet me in Elderwood National Park. There's a spot called Lover's Peak. Midnight. Don't do nothing stupid, pal. We're watching you. Mr. Wade, can I help you with anything? I need to get some air. The sheriff said I could go out back. Of course, Mr. Wake. You can get there through the cell corridor. Just don't mind Walter in there. He's one of our regulars. Hey, mister! Hey, can you turn the light? The light's on! The deputies, they won't... They don't understand. I think he's drunk. They won't listen to me. The early morning light hurt my eyes and made my head ache. The man on the phone had said, go through the fence on the left. Get over here? I can. Oh, okay. Just break it. Alice's driver's license had been placed on the front seat. The caller meant business. Barry? Ow! Ow! Thank God! Where the hell have you been? I've been trying to reach you for a week. You and Alice. I've been worried sick. I flew out yesterday. Oh. I'm here, here in Bright Falls. 
Barry, listen to me. I'm at the sheriff's station. Come and get me. I can't talk now. Al, what the hell is going on? I had to get the sheriff to let me go. I needed to get to Elderwood National Park to meet Alice's kidnappers. Okay, I guess I have to go through the station again. You know, is it, is it possible to turn the lights on? I wonder. Oh, look, manuscript. Let's read it. In spite of its human mask, to describe the dark presence as intelligent would have implied human qualities on something decidedly inhuman. Nonetheless, it found the one spot in the diner that was dark enough. Some light spilled into the corridor, ravaging it. But it took the pain. Horrible as it was, the writer would soon fix that. He would be coming to the one place where it still had power. Okay, since that phone call from Barry, I think it was his name, I'm no longer convinced that he's been unconscious for several years. A writer is a light that reveals the world of his story from darkness, shapes it from nothingness, the way a sculptor carves a statue from a block of granite. Wow. If I stop, the world I'm making dies. Darkness will reclaim it. It's a long, hard journey into the dark. Alice's life is at stake, but I can't think about that, or I'll lose it. The dread lingers at the edge of perception. I'll push on. Anything is possible here. I'll write the story. I'll save her. That is Marvelous, creepy. Sarah. I just wanted to settle all the damage the Anderson brothers might have inadvertently caused. Are you feeling any better, Mr. Wake? I'd like to leave. Am I free to go? Well, we still need to talk about... Am I under arrest? No, of course not. But I need to know where you'll be staying so I can get in touch with you. I'd avoid the motel. The Majestic is known for its roaches. The cabins at Elderwood are pretty nice, though. That sounds perfect. I'm Dr. Emil Hartman. I'd like to invite you to stay at Cauldron Lake Lodge. Did you talk to my wife? I had the pleasure of discussing your situation with her on what? several occasions. Did you set something up with her? I invited her here. My clinic is a place where... Oh! Hey! Oh, my! Take it easy. Nobody move! Get your hands off of my client! Who are you? Barry. I'm Barry Wheeler, his agent. <laughs> if you have business with Mr. Wake, you talk to me. You yokels won't know what hit you once I sick my lawyers on your asses. No harm done, Sarah. I'm all right. I don't want to press charges. Mr. Wake, my offer still stands. Get me out of here. What the hell was that about, Al? We don't need a replay of that thing with the paparazzi. I thought they were gonna lock you up. So did I, actually, to be honest. I had to talk to someone. I told Barry everything. He thought I was certifiable, but when he heard about the manuscript, I had him. The fact that I'd written something, even if I couldn't remember it, was enough for him. He smelled money, and he believed that Alice had been kidnapped. Anything beyond that was another story. I had a midnight appointment with the kidnapper in a place called Lover's Peak, somewhere in Elderwood National Park. The plan was to rent a cabin. I don't like it, Al. I don't like any of it. It's not good. In fact, it's the absolute opposite of good. Mr. Wake! Barry, you found him! Hi, Rose. Oh, wow. I was just thinking about you, too. Great. I was just bringing Rusty some coffee. He's on the balcony, looking after Max. Poor thing. I really need to go. Great to see you again, Mr. Wake. Later! Who's Max? What an airhead. Jeez, Mr. Like takes a swing at everybody. This is not her fault. She's a very nice girl and, more importantly, a fan. Oh, was she the... She even has a fan site dedicated to you. Oh. Skeleton of a Colombian mammoth. I'm not gonna read through that. You guys probably don't want to see that. You just want to see me playing through this game. Ah, what the hell? I'm reading it. This specimen, estimated to be 14,000 years old, was recovered from the La Brea Tar Pits in 1981. It was detonated to the Elderwood National Park in 98. 
When the Colombian mammoth became Washington's state fossil, named Bucktooth Charlie, it has since become the park's official mascot. All right, so I guess we're in the state Seriously, of Washington. Seriously, Al, what you were saying in the car? Just listen to yourself. What, you I'm shot a guy here. and his body just disappeared? Yes. I saw it with my own two Easy eyes. Easy there, boy. I'm almost done. All right, which hey, one's Rusty, Rusty right? Dog. You rent cabins. Oh, Mr. Wake. Yeah, I'd shake your hand, but mine are kind of full here. Actually, I'm sorry about this. Would you mind grabbing the registration form from the desk? It's just across from Bucktooth Charlie. Okay, sure. What happened? Crazy poachers. Max here got his foot caught in a trap. They're illegal to use here. Hell, you're not supposed to hunt them in the park what, Are you high? Have yeah, you been drinking? No! Look, Barry, I'm missing a week, and someone's got Alice, Do you and everything's just... you understand what it sounds like when you say stuff like that? Don't get me wrong. It's a good story. Could be a bestseller. <laughs> it's non-fiction. But when you start confusing fiction with reality, you're buying yourself a ticket to the funny farm. Seriously, Al, funny you can't farm. just go and meet a kidnapper. Those situations always end up in disaster. You gotta talk to the cops. Wait here. I can't talk to the cops, though. I think this is the form you wanted. And here are the keys. Okay, you're all set, Mr. Wake. Glad to have you staying here. Thanks. Can you tell me how to get to Lover's Peak? Oh, sure. It's at the end of the nature trail. Just follow the paths, you'll get to it eventually. It's an easy walk. Nice spot, too. <laughs> okay, so... If you have any trouble finding it, just keep your eyes on the radio mast. Oh. It's right below that. Okay. Good to know. If you're trying to pull a joke on me, freak me out, it's working. Ha ha, let's have a laugh on Barry. Well, you had me going there His real funny, Al. You can quit it now. Look, Al, you're asking me to believe that you shot a dude who went poof into thin air. Yes. A guy who was bulletproof until you pointed a flashlight at him. Yes. You hear that from people who end up spending time in padded rooms. Yes. Strapped to their beds, wearing white shirts with two long tangled up sleeves. And eating a healthy diet of pills. Al, you make cruel jokes about people who believe that kind of stuff. You're the skeptic. You gave me an hour-long lecture on homeopathy last month. What was it? If there's no proof, it's pure bullshit. Period. Guess the laugh's on me, then. Al, come on! I mean, okay. Okay, maybe something weird happened to yes. you, okay? Well, thanks for the heartfelt vote of confidence. All I'm saying is you gotta throw me a bone here, bestseller. What would you think if it was me? There's no way you should be going out at midnight with a gun. No one asked you to come here, Barry. Either work with me on this or go straight back to New York. Your choice. Uh -huh. Please tell me I have a flashlight. That's just crazy talk, Al. Al? Al? We should go to the sheriff or call the FBI. Damn it, Barry, they'll kill her. This is not a goddamn debate, <gasps> Barry. <gasps> I'm going to Lover's He's Peak. Okay. He said to come alone. Okay, okay then. I understand. But you're my best friend and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. Tell me what to do to help and I'll do it. All you right, stay here and if right I'm not back head. by morning, call the cavalry. I apologize <laughs> Cause one type. Just be careful with the natives, Al. These yokels are dangerous. Everybody hates a tourist, or it'll be deliverance all over again. I sort of feel like he isn't going to. Uh, what did I want to say? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I sort of feel like something's wrong with him. Because, uh. He seems to have a cold. He's the sneezing. Anyways, I am going to. Uh, that's going to be enough for this episode, so uh, the next one will be up tomorrow. So I will see you guys then. Good night.